Meet my brother-in-law, Ben. He's 29 years old and has a super rare condition called tub 4A related leukodystrophy. It's progressive, which means it's taken a lot from him. He used to be able to walk and talk, but now he's nonverbal and quadriplegic. We take care of him full time, but it's more than that. We're working on building a real community to keep him connected, motivated, and engaged with the world around him. One question we get all the time is, why can't Ben use the eye gaze system? And honestly, it's a good one. We've definitely explored that and a bunch of other technologies before we landed on what we use now. Here's the thing. Ben can't control his eyes well due to something called nystagmus, which causes involuntary eye movements. So eye gaze tech just didn't work for him. Some systems offer switch access, but even then, the interfaces were too complicated or just not made with Ben's needs in mind. For years, the only way Ben could communicate was through yes and no questions. It broke Ari's heart. He missed real conversations with his brother. After trying so many things and hitting wall after wall, Ari finally said, you know what? I'm going to build something for Ben myself. With a lot of love and some help from ChatGPT, Ari built a communication system in Python just for Ben. And it actually works beautifully. Here's what it can do. Ben can scroll through and pick his favorite TV shows, movies, music, and audiobooks. He has over 300 options to choose from. There's a predictive text keyboard so he can type out full sentences. And Ben's absolute favorite part, he's got games. Baseball, mini golf, trivia, and more. He has fun custom games that keep him engaged and having fun throughout the day. Ben uses two buttons by his head to control the system. Since Ben's only reliable movement is turning his head left and right, the buttons give him tactile feedback and an audible click, which helps him stay focused and involved. He also has low vision, so the system includes text-to-speech so he can hear the option as he navigates. We are currently using a face shield band with buttons attached to either side of his head with Velcro. When he is lying in bed, we have a custom-made pillow that has the sides raised for easier clicking. We tried other systems and methods, but they just didn't cut it for Ben. They were hard to see, hard to use, and honestly, kind of boring. This new system, it's personal, it's fun, and most importantly, it works. For the first time in a long time, Ben is excited to use his communication tools every single day. Is it perfect? No. But Ben's a simple guy. He doesn't need fancy. He needs functional, familiar, and fun. We're always looking to improve it. More games, more features, and more ways to connect. But for right now, we're just happy that Ben finally has something that truly feels like his. If you want to see it in action, we've got a full explainer video on our YouTube channel that walks you through Ben's custom setup. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. We love hearing from you.